you ever have that problem where ChatGPT lies to you or other large language models? Well, there's a lot of great tips that you can uh, use and employ to get around that, but I'm going to show you one today, which is the consensus search app uh, or plugin inside ChatGPT. So before we get to it, as a reminder, or it maybe if you don't know, my name is Jordan. I host Everyday AI, and this is our AI in five. So uh, at Everyday AI, we uh, have a daily live stream podcast and free daily newsletter helping everyday people learn and leverage AI. So let's go ahead and learn and leverage some of that AI right now and talk about this consensus uh, plugin. So what is consensus? Well, it is a search engine of sorts that provides evidence-based answers. Uh, but in addition to the obviously uh, uh, their search engine, they have a kind of new uh, ChatGPT plugin. Uh, I think it's been out for uh, just, just a couple of weeks here. So let's go ahead and, and take a look at what it does. All right, so I always recommend if you don't know what a ChatGPT plugin does, just ask it. So I say, what can the consensus search plugin do? Um, and it gives all of these uh, great examples of what it can do. So I also, I also like to uh, find, uh, you know, examples from the plugin, uh, website itself. So as an example here, um, I'm just going to take something that, uh, they have on their website. So I'm going to do, um, let's do this one. I'm going to take this one here. I'm going to change it out. Um, and let's see what results we get. So I'm saying, write a SEO friendly blog on, and I'm going to do something kind of, uh, medical on if meditation can improve your physical health. All right, so this is very basic prompt, right? Um, so kind of the reason why I wanna do this is I wanna see if right away, if ChatGPT is going to start pulling uh, information from uh, from uh, the consensus app. So you'll see right here, I said, write an SEO friendly blog, on if meditation can improve your physical health. So I'm gonna go through right here and see, and it, it, as you can see, it didn't use, uh, it didn't use the plugin because if so, it would show that right there. And I do have the plugins enabled. And as a reminder, if you don't know what ChatGPT plugins are, I have plenty of videos on that, but you need the paid plan and you need to add the consensus app plugin. So I'm gonna rerun this and I'm gonna be, be a little more direct. So. As you saw, we actually used the example prompt. So that's another thing that uh, I, I would encourage plugin makers, if you have examples on your website, make sure you run those because most of the time, ChatGPT may not even uh, pull uh, your plugin. So I need to run this again and ask ChatGPT to use the consensus app plugin um, to make sure that we get some, some better information. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Um, and I'm gonna say, and use the consensus search uh, chat GPT plugin to find relevant and up to a research on meditation and your health. I never type very well on these, on these live ones, guys. Uh, so, so again, I always like to say this, this is, um, let me, let, let me jump back into the correct window here too. Um, so here is my updated, uh, one right here. And I say, write an SEO friendly blog on if meditation can improve your physical health. And then I say, and use the consensus search chat GPT plugin, find relevant and up-to-date research on meditation in your health. So you'll see now it did use the consensus search, whereas before it did not. So why am I like really harping on this? Well, um, Anytime that ChatGPT is not using a plugin, um, you, you know, whether you're giving it access to information, you know, and that's why I always have this browser op plugin. So I can send ChatGPT different uh, websites, different PDFs, different resources. So if ChatGPT isn't using a, a plugin in its search, it is bringing in old and probably out of date information. So, uh, you, you know, the knowledge cutoff is September 2021. And there's probably a lot uh, that's been learned uh, about meditation in your physical health since then, specifically with the pandemic, because I know a lot of people started to have other health problems during the pandemic. And I'm sure some people turn to meditation, right? Uh, so that's why we always have to make sure not only to have plugins enabled, but we have to use prompts that pull on or call those plugins. Because even the example from consensus 
did not work. So it's something important to keep in mind. But now I see it did use the consensus search. And if you're ever curious, you can always click that and you can kind of read through uh, the code here to, to see what, uh, what papers it pulls up. But even if I wanted to, you know, I could copy and paste this um, and uh, I don't need the UTM link there, but I could copy and paste this and read the article if I wanted to, or I could ask the consensus search uh, to link to that. So we'll actually see if they do down here. But uh, so we'll see what we have here. Okay, so it, it, it is linking the different um, the different uh, sources that it's using. So this is great. This is much better. Um, it's also giving you know the meta description, and then down here, uh, it, it's um, this is a feature of the consensus uh, plugin, I believe. It's linking to the different um, the different findings or the different research studies it pulls from. So uh, this is a very very quick overview of the consensus search plugin. And, and here's, here's why it's important y'all, because if you're not sure how to use chat GPT, uh, a lot of times you're going to get, um, you're going to get bad or out of date information, right? Uh, just, just what, what, what I showed you here, even in their, uh, in their example on the website, right? Uh, so I just updated this, uh, and, and maybe it's because I didn't say backed by science, uh, but you always have to make sure that ChatGPT is pulling uh, the correct information from the plugin. So I hope this was helpful in using a plugin like Consensus Search. There's also Scholar AI, which we've done a review on this channel. Uh, but you always have to make sure that you give ChatGPT access to up to date and accurate information. Otherwise, you run the risk of it maybe making things up. So uh, if this was helpful, please go to youreverydayai.com. Sign up for that free daily newsletter um, and. Follow us along. We do every single weekday morning, Monday through Friday, 7.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, we, we, we get this information out there. So hope this is helpful, and we'll see you again for another AI in 5. Thanks, y'all.